asking for a friend. Um, how do you get back in good graces? <laughs> Uh, again, for a friend. <laughs> you got a pen, so I take a note. Let me, let me just say this. Uh, it sure helps to be out of the White House. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, to, to have a little more time with her. Don't get it twisted, y'all. Just because Barack and Michelle Obama lived in the White House, it doesn't mean their marriage was flawless. In fact, it was harder than most to a point where they could have ended in divorce. So what exactly is the dark truth about the marriage that appeared perfect for years? Well, it was more like they couldn't stand each other and wanted to leave. People think I'm being catty by saying this. It's like there were 10 years well, I couldn't stand my husband. Personally, I understand a marriage having its highs and lows, but not liking your husband for 10 years? I don't know, man, sounds like a lot. And I don't know if you guys know this, but the far right wingers have tried it. They thought we'd believe that former first lady Michelle Obama was not a woman. I mean, they went to great lengths to convince themselves and everyone that they could, even by photoshopping her photos to prove the point. In fact, conservative bigots like Deanna Lorraine also made nonsensical speculation like when she tweeted, Michelle Obama is releasing a documentary on Netflix called Becoming. I wonder what she's becoming. Stu Peters also very recently wrote, Barack doesn't have children and he definitely didn't have them with Michelle. Martin Nesbitt and Anita Blanchard are Sasha and Malia Obama's real parents. Nesbitt is also the chairman of the Obama Foundation. She claims to have receipts suggesting that Michelle Obama was registered to vote as a man from 1994 until 2008, according to documents allegedly obtained from the Illinois State Board of Elections. She said she had eyes on documents suggesting Michelle officially changed her gender to female in 2008, the same year her husband was running for the presidency. But no guys, the reason why Barack and Michelle's marriage almost ended has nothing to do with that wild theory. It actually had a lot to do with Barack being busy, being a politician, and Michelle picking up the weight of making sure they all didn't go insane. Apparently, from the beginning, Michelle did not want any part of the messy political world or the exposure that came with it. And when Barack decided to run for Senate, she literally said, don't expect me to do any campaigning. In fact, you shouldn't even count on my vote. Now imagine the horror when Barack told Michelle that he was running for presidency. Well, in an interview on CBS Mornings, Barack said that when their kids, Malia and Sasha were growing up, including while the Obamas were in the White House, the girls were Michelle Obama's top priority. He actually admitted that he did not fully appreciate how much work Michelle put into making sure that the family was functioning despite the pressure and public scrutiny. So I, I, I did not not fully appreciate, I think, hmm. as, as engaged of a father as I was. The degree of stress and tension for her, knowing that not just me and Michelle were under scrutiny and in this strange environment, but that we were raising our, our daughters of course. in, in, in a, a, a kind of uh, situation that it, it just wasn't normal. According to Barack, now that the kids are older and independent, apparently Michelle is a little more forgiving. Now that they're doing good, yeah, um, you know, she uh, is a little more forgiving of all, all my flaws. <laughs> uh, she, she says, you know, what she's told me is, you know, looking back, you did okay as a dad. Yeah. And uh, and and if I pass that test, then then uh, she'll forgive me most of my other my other uh, foibles. Not the first time he's opened up about how the White House nearly ruined his marriage, by the way. In a previous interview with People, Barack also opened up about how he sat down with Michelle to talk about running for president after he'd already laid a bunch of the groundwork. And according to Barack, Michelle gave him a hard look and got up from the couch and said, God, Barack, when is it going to be enough? And before he could answer, she'd gone into the bedroom and closed the door. Well, when they eventually got into the White House, Barack said that there was still an underlying tension and a loneliness because Michelle Michelle wanted to get everything done right, and that definitely got him worried. And so it was harder on her in many ways than it was on me, even though, um, you know, obviously the nature of our responsibilities were different. However, he also said that finally leaving the White House definitely helped to save his marriage to Michelle. It was like a big exhale right after we leave office. Um, and it took some time to talk about how she had felt. There were times where I think she was frustrated or uh, sad or angry, uh, but knew that I had Afghanistan to worry about or the financial crisis to worry about. So she would 
tamp it down. And again, he also pointed to the fact that Sasha and Malia are fairly successful young adults, which helped them both relax amid their retirements and second acts in public life and spend more time with one another without the weight of the world on their shoulders. Of course, he's not the only one who has been opening up about their marriage almost falling apart. Remember, a few months ago, Michelle was promoting her book, The Light We Carry, and in a panel talk on Revolt with Kelly Rowland, her, Winnie Harlow, and Tina Knowles Lawson, she also talked about the difficulties of a marriage, including how hard it is even when you are madly in love with a person and even when everything works out right. According to Michelle, it reached a point when she felt like Barack was being absent in their relationship and looking after the children, and it could have really broken their marriage. Apparently, Barack was focusing so much on politics and she was primarily looking after their daughters, Sasha and Malia, when the kids were growing up. And for 10 years, while we're trying to build our careers and, you know, worrying about school and who's doing what and what, what you know, I was like, oh, this isn't even. No, right. And that guess what? Life Marriage is. isn't 50-50 yeah. yeah. ever, mm. ever. Michelle had also written in her book that she would call Barack to prepare dinner and he would say he'd be home soon. Then he wouldn't come home for hours because he stayed at the office late and then went to the gym. It actually reached a point where Michelle started measuring tasks between her and Barack, like how many diapers each changed or how much time Barack spent at the gym and how he even had time to play golf when she was doing the most to keep the family together. Well, the other thing that Michelle also said is that even though at times she felt like her marriage would end, she decided to stay because she was ready to sacrifice 10 bad years for decades of happy years. Okay. That also sparked conversation with some people saying that she was basically encouraging other women to stay in unhappy marriages with the hope that things will get better. Remember, this is also the same person who also wrote in her book, Becoming, that she ended up making some of the biggest sacrifices in their marriage when her husband's presidential campaign kicked into high gear after 2008. She actually took a leave of absence from her job at the University of Chicago Medical Center, knowing that it would be impossible to stay on and be effective and said, it had been painful to step away from my work, but there was no choice. My family needed me and that mattered more. So guys were just like, why was she the one who had to give up her stuff for the sake of her husband and her family? Oh, and even when she was the first lady, Michelle also had to make a bunch of other sacrifices like how, according to her, she had to straighten her natural hair instead of keeping it in braids or other styles typically worn by black women so the US could adjust to having a black family in the White House. Well, the Obamas both say that they are in a much better place now, but do you think that Michelle sacrificed too much of her own happiness for the sake of her family? I know some will also say that she probably stayed because deep down she loved the fame and the money that came with it. But you know what? All opinions are welcome. So let me know what y'all think about Barack and Michelle's marriage in the comment section below.